Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. They have a very special unboxing for you, something coming in from American Edge Knives. Let's take a look at this here. I'm kind of sure I know what this is, but uh, we'll just take a quick gander at this. All right, go ahead and open the box here. Today I'm opening it up with my McNeese Mac 2. This is the uh, manual frame lock. This is an atomic wash with a flat grind drop point. I believe, let's see, is that everything? Make sure I cut everything here. All right, put that off to the side. Let's see if this this took care of everything. Uh, oh nope. All right, so we got to cut over here. All right. All right. We'll cut here as well. And here. Let's see. I think that's everything. Seat. We'll put that off to the side. All right, what we're opening up here, make sure there's not anything on the paper. Okay, what we're opening up here is a Heretic green box, exemplary designed, unparalleled quality. Heretic knives. This is the blue titanium with Wraith Manual version 3 DLC, single edge, blue titanium accents. All right, made in the USA. So it's a USA made knife. Beautiful little thing right there. Just like the McNeese, all right. So here we go, Heretic Knives. Let's open this up. It's kind of a cool box, huh? Anything in there? Oh, that's it. Plenty of stuff in there. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. So this is the Wraith version 3. They, they had prototypes of these, and it's a big boy. It's an integral, as you can see. Integral backspacer titanium, one piece, solid piece. Definitely has some weight to it, for sure. It's pretty robust. Uh, looks pretty chamfered around the corners. Got a little lanyard hole right there. We got a lanyard little clip here, looks like. Milled, yep, definitely with one screw. These all look like T... I want to say... I want to say T8s, but these might be T10s. We'll have to check that. And this looks like a T10 or T12 or something. I don't know. Uh... All right, integral back spacer's got some weight to it. Definitely a big boy. Uh, here's a beautiful blade, and I don't know if you can see that. Wraith right there, USA. Let's look on this side. Can't see anything yet, but let's go ahead and flip this open. You ready? All right, so this is in Magna Cut. Look at that. And it's a nice flat grind with a beautiful swedge on top, a robust, thick blade on top. Look at that. Definitely got some weight to it. She can choke up here. Beautiful jimping. Right up here, nice frame lock. We're way up, we're at a good 50%, I would say, if you can see that. 50% for sure. Looks like, yep, yeah, we got an over travel stop. And then, well, we have a, um, um, a uh, steel backspacer to engage on the tang of the blade. So it's not titanium on there, because this is titanium, as we can tell, in case you're curious. You know? But this, yeah, that's a steel backspacer. All this is titanium. Yep, and titanium pivot. So I got this blue accents and collar on top of here, magnet cut blade. All right, let's see how this drops. All right, it's pretty heavy. Okay, so we got some pretty, it's pretty sticky there. Hopefully that'll loosen up. Wow, not very smooth at first. Hopefully it'll break in a little bit. We'll have to deploy it for a few. Ooh. Wow, I don't know about that. That's interesting. Well, the physics on there doesn't look very... Hmm, that's a pretty flat blade for engagement there. That's pretty sticky. I don't know if that's because of the physics of the blade or what. You can actually hear that, listen. Hopefully that'll fix, work itself out. Definitely a big piece of metal. That's definitely heavy. I mean, I don't normally weigh it on an unboxing, but man, I've got to weigh this thing here. Let's take a look at this. Let's reset that. All right, 
somehow I started the timer. I forget this has a timer on it. There we go, ounces. Let's see what this was. 7.1 ounces. That is a lot of weight. Hmm. That's a big knife. Yeah, we're looking at almost eight and a half inches here. That's big. All right. That doesn't drop as well as I thought it would. Interesting. I don't know. Man, that lock stick is really bad. For as much as you pay for a knife like this, that is ridiculous. Well, it is. Oh, is it centered? Let's see. Uh, I think it's not centered. It's a little favorite to the right, so it's definitely not centered, I don't think. Wow. All right, let's 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 take a look at those pivots to see how big they are. So this is a T10 right here. Let's see, is that T10? No, it's not even T10. This is a T15. Let's see, is this a T15? No. All right, so this is a T25. Oh, it's a T25 on both sides. Okay, let's see here. Here's the, here's the T10. T10, T10, is that T10? Maybe it's a T8 down here. No, it's gotta be a T10. What is that? Why is that not fitting in? Is it a hex screw? Oh, that's a hex screw. All right, so that's a hex, uh, so I need to get a hex screw for that one. Interesting, okay. All right, those are all T10s. Interesting. Yeah, <clears throat> pretty robust. Okay, so hex screw there. That's interesting, you can see that hex screw. There's the anodization, there's the integral back spacer. And there's a carbon fiber inlay right there. Wow. Wow. That is... That is really... Hmm. Yeah, it's favoring to the right a little bit. It might be centered, I don't know. That whole... It's close. For as heavy as this blade is, though. Let's see how that lock-in goes in. Oh, it's got a detent lash, too. It's really rocking in there. Mmm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. No, no, for as much as this blade is, no. No, we can't do this. This is too much. There's too many issues here. All right, we've got detent lash. It's rocking all like crazy. The angle to the tang of the blade is really very almost parallel. It's flat. Now, if you see that right there, I don't know if you can see that. That's a lot of times causes lock stick. That's ergonomic. So you see right here, he's got, if you look at the angle on that tang of the blade, you see that right there? That's more of a slanted angle. The one on the wraith is almost flat parallel. And that's obviously going to lock. It's going to give you more contact, a lot of surface area contact. So it really sticks. I mean, it sticks really bad. I'm going to get my flashlight out so you can see that. So let's look at that. You can see, you can see the, the engagement right there. That is almost parallel. Now, that's not going to work. That, that's a miss. Whoever was grinding the blade, that's a real miss. I mean, sometimes you can make up for it in the angle of your steel bar insert, but they didn't, they didn't do that. For as much as you pay, I don't care if this was handmade by, by Marfion's son himself, I'm not digging this at all. No. No, no, no. No. No, it is a big no. Yeah, it's sticking like crazy. That is a big no. 
And I'm trying to think that this is centered, but it just doesn't seem centered. No, that's not centered. It's not. Absolutely not centered to me. So, you can see it's a little to the right. All right. Can we fail that too? Oh, you can obviously fail it because it's so gritty in there. For $600 USA made, I mean, I would expect a little bit of smoothness. This thing is more expensive than the Magnese right here. And the Magnese is just butter. Absolute butter. I'd rather get a ta Tanto version of this one than one of these. So, yeah. We're going to have to... We're gonna have to call them and probably return this. This is not acceptable for the price that we're paying for, for a knife. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's very disappointing. It's a cool looking knife. It's very beefy, very cool, very robust. It's kind of got that annex kind of big boy look. But the annex, even though it's made by Reich overseas, I think it's made far better than this. This is really, really disappointing. Wow, I know it's magnet cut, and so that's kind of cool, but nice and sharp for sure. Got a robust, thick edge. The swedge is going to be great for cutting. You can definitely choke up on it for sure, right? That's for sure. Medium, medium, large hands definitely have plenty of room. An extra large, double extra large, triple extra large hands can fit if you choke up. I mean, gargantuan hands can fit on here. Let's see here. It's not too sharp. It feels rounded, chamfered on the top. Doesn't dig in when you squeeze. Yeah, so it's fine. I'm sure the clip works well because I have one of these on my GSD, my Leon Law GSD, and it's nice. Riot makes something like that. But man, that's sticking. And that angle is just, it's its not good. I'm very disappointed. All right, so this is my experience on the Heretic Wraith. It's not very good. This is a volume three. It's not a prototype. If it was a prototype, I could maybe have written it off. But man, that angle is just... They gotta fix that. They gotta fix that. I mean, if anything, take this blade, grind it more of an angle, put a longer insert in there. I don't know, whatever you gotta do, but that is not good. Everything else is nice, but man, it's a heavy. Sure could use some milling, you know? I mean, I don't know why it had to be so incredibly thick. I mean, just for fun, since I'm not gonna be doing a full review, I'm just kinda curious, what's the, uh, how thick is that blade? Yeah, it's two tenths of an inch. That's a big boy. That's a huge, huge, huge blade. Let's go ahead and do a little measurements on here. Just for fun, too. We'll figure this out. Yeah, this is about eight and three quarters of an inch. For sure, a big knife. Oh, got something there. Probably lunch. Sorry, guys. I work here at my desk, and sometimes I eat here. Um, so, yeah, eight and, eight and three quarters of an inch. Cutting blade to the tang of the blade, we're looking at three... I'm going to say three and five eighths. Cutting edge is going to be probably three and a half inches. So, you know, a lot of, lot of, lot of slicing. And it's pretty thick. It's not a slicer. It's going to be a thick blade for sure. I mean, that is just, this feels like a Medford. I don't know. This feels like a Medford. It's huge. It's weighty. It's off-centered. It's sticky. It uh, does have has horrible action, quite frankly. I mean, this is horrible action for a $600 knife. Absolutely horrible action. So, yeah. All right, so we're going to reach out to them because I sure hope they, they take this back without any issues because this is not acceptable as far as a knife goes. I'm just not very happy about this at all. This is horrible. Really quite horrible. Look at that. It doesn't even drop. I mean, look at that. You have, to, you have to shake it. And when it does, you can hear that. Listen, listen. Can you hear that? Get you by the speaker. That's gritty, just super gritty. And you know, I get it, it's PVD coated, but this is stonewashed. And typically something at this quality, they're gonna put a little coating in there, it's gonna be very smooth. This is not at all. Look at that, it doesn't wanna drop. And I mean, this is not a light blade. This blade should fall, look at that. It doesn't wanna fall, that means how tight it is. But it sticks so bad, that's terrible. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to be able to review this because I have to return it. There's no way I'm going to touch it any more than this because I got I, I need to get a refund on this one. This is not a good experience. Very, very bad experience. I'm hoping this is an exception and maybe you guys can comment down below if you have one of these and yours is fantastic and you love it. Let me know. Let me know how it's different than my experience. But if it's not, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, there is some cool micro milling there. We'll get a little close there. You can definitely see that right there. So, 
you see that nice there like that and then we'll get a nice view of the back and we can do a little one like that how about that okay all right man look at that it is just i cannot believe that the angle the tang of the blade back here look at that well, you know what? Some of that stick looks like it could also be because they Cerakoted. Look at that. They Cerakoted the tang of the blade. That's crazy. Why would you Cerakote that? Or PVD coat that exposed hang right there. Hmm. You can see that right there. Look at that. I, I, I don't want to risk hoping that it's going to work out, right? I don't want to risk hoping that it's going to clear up. And then it never does. That's my worry. That is my worry. Absolute worry. Wow. Okay. Well, if there's a review, I meant maybe I reached out to um, Heretic Knives and asked them about this to find out from them because, uh, yeah not cool so you can see that right there that's where it's starting to wear off a little bit it looks like it's coated on the tang which i've never seen any tang of any blade ever 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 coated or anything even this one right here is this tang right here this tang i don't know if you can see that it's fully polished and that's what you want to do even though when this is carbonized right here this is titanium and it's carbonized I don't know if you can see that. They carbonize the tip of that. So where it engages on the, the, the blade, the carbonization, it av avoids it from lock stick. But here, yeah, I don't know if that's just... Hmm. Yeah, anyways, all right, well... We'll see what happens. If there's a review, it means we fixed it and we're good. And it'll, I'll obviously be talking about how much better the action is, but if not, this may be it. I may just have an unboxing and first impressions, and my first impressions is not great. I hope that gets corrected. I hope that's an error. I hope that's not the true first impressions that it sticks with. Because there's no action on this blade whatsoever. It sticks horribly, and it's off-centered. Some major, major misses for me. Major concerns for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. And we've got detent lash. Yeah, there it is. Detent lash right there. And. Well. It's because we also got blade rock. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, Let's see if it tightens up just a little bit, because it's loose. Not tighten on that side. Not tighten on that side. Yeah, no. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't want to move. I'm not going to push it. It's not loose, I'll say that much, okay? It's not loose, so we're not going to mess with it. And it's still not centered. We're not going to mess with that. So there we go. All right, well, hey, thanks so much for watching today. If you've uh, found this interesting, if you found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, or entertaining, would you please consider liking the video or subscribing? Subscribing and liking the videos really helps out the channel, allows me to grow and be able to produce more content, do more things. I really would appreciate that. Hey, and if you've already subscribed and if you've already you liked the video, maybe consider hitting the not notification button down below. That way you can be notified of future content when it's dropped. And if you've done all that, maybe hey, check, check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. That's uh, on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Hey, thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.